name's Kelty, and this week I was supposed to train like an Olympic track athlete, but I got drunk. <laughs> Like, I don't want to run like an Olympic athlete tomorrow. Everything hurts. I want to throw up. Early last week, very last minute, me and my boyfriend decided to book a last minute trip to Stockholm. Where? Thursday night, we drank. Friday night, we drank. Saturday night, we drank. Sunday night, we drank. And then early Monday morning, I realized... <sighs> You made this promise and you booked with an Olympic running coach to train like Olympic athlete on Tuesday. After the first four day bender I've had in 18 months. And I was just gonna push through it. You dug your hole, you live in it. And then I realized, no, that's a challenge in itself. It's one thing to train like Olympic track athlete. Yeah, we'll get to that one day. But right now I'm gonna try and train like just any Olympian when hungover. Now that is a fitness challenge I can get behind. I'm going to attempt to train like an Olympic track athlete for the next 24 hours while I'm completely hungover. Kelty. Now this is what 24 hours of my life looked like as a pro runner. I get up about 6 a.m. It's not that I like getting up early. It's that practice starts at 9 and you got to get your body ready for it. So you got to eat something. You got to stretch a little bit. I actually like to sit in the hot tub for about 10 minutes to get my body nice and warm. I'm supposed to take a bath in the morning. But I don't know. Why are you going to work? Nick said I had to go to bed early enough so I had enough sleep so I woke up naturally at 6 a.m. No, I hit snooze till 7.30 and now I have to artificially inject sleep into my system. So mission number one, get enough sleep, fail. Also, I don't know why, but a white monster. It doesn't cure a hangover, but it's the closest thing. Hangover update, it is 9.52 a.m. and I am not well. <sighs> are you, are you I? Oh, I gotta go run like an Olympian. Oh God, oh God. Now your morning session is gonna consist of a three mile warm up jog, and then you're gonna do five by a mile repeats with two minutes standing rest. So you run a mile, rest two minutes, run a mile, rest two minutes, you do that five times, and then you gotta run another three mile jog for your cool down. So practice started at 9 a.m. I'm just slightly late, it's 11.27. How do you do that? How do you do that? Warm up, let's go. Okay, warm up is three miles for my fellow Canadians, that's 4.8 kilometers. And Nick never said how fast I have to go, so. I'm going home now. I need a pep talk, I need personal motivation. I am well, I'm healthy, I'm thriving. Oh, I'm not thriving, I'm not thriving. I got this, it's just three miles, it's just 4.8 kilometers, it is just 12 times around. 12 minus 11 is one. Quick mess. Attack me, I'm scared of seagulls now. I'm at three kilometers, which is cruel because it feels like I'm done. It's a three, but only two thirds. Also, I broke my watch when I was drunk. Okay, I'm not the fastest person right now, nor the most efficient. How many people can run three kilometers completely hungover without throwing up? Take that, fitness YouTubers. Oh my. 
ankle three times on this. And that was a fact no one cares about. Three mile, aka 4.8 kilometers, done. So now I have my pacer run. So it's five one miles, which is four times around with only two minute break in between. I still haven't thrown off. I won my Olympics. 400 meters, 800 meters, 1200 meters, 1600. That's some bullshit. 1200! You liar! Despite my faking it, I am actually am running and I'm at 9.8 kilometers. We're over halfway. Now this is all reminding me of when I actually did throw up running track in university. Story time. Am I using this story as an excuse to take break? Yes. So I actually played college basketball if you didn't know and in the off season we would go to the track and run two to four times a week. In my rookie year I was trying to make a good impression before the season started so it was the summer of my rookie year going into college and my college didn't really approve of drinking. I think you'd take my title of this video. I do. It was graduation night and I tracked practice 9 a.m. the next morning. So I did what any responsible person would do. I went to grad, woke up 7 a.m. with an hour's sleep. Hunger always can be, and what does drunk Kelty eat when she's drunk? Ice cream. So I opened up the freezer, ate four bowls of ice cream, and proceeded to go hungover, probably still buzzed, with four bowls of ice cream in my stomach to track practice. Now most of the girls on my team were aware of my current situation. My coach, mm, not so much. So I went once around, two times around, three times around, in a spot that looks quite similar to that, proceeded to projectile vomit. To which my coach said, everyone, see? See how hard Kelty's pushing herself? She's pushing herself so hard, she pushed herself to the ability to throw up. So he's here thinking that I'm just running a max capacity so much that I threw up. Everyone on the team knew otherwise. So yes, I've been here before. See? And I gotta take a longer break because you guys. You see that? You see it? In the distance. The cloud? It could rain. I could get hypothermia. <laughs> I'm in a vulnerable state. If I get sick, it is a pandemic. <laughs> Every hungover person convinces themselves they don't have to work out. I mean, this is a fitness channel. I gotta promote health and wellness during a pandemic and optimizing your immune system. Running in the potential cold rain <laughs> when you're hungover. Actually, I'll try some track starts. I just had a conversation with Research Kelty and every track start is equivalent of one kilometer. So I'm gonna do seven track starts. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble, in big trouble. On a scale of 10, how is my track starts? Huh? On a scale of one to 10, how were my starts? Five. Five out of 10! Passing great, I just need a six next week as improvement. I went 10K, hungover. I think that's a feat. I think that is a fitness miracle. Next week is when I'm actually trying. This is just survival. Next week I will thrive. Final, 11.3 kilometers. Completion level hungover, 67%. You're gonna be hungry afterwards, so you get to go home and eat a massive, massive lunch. Now, there's two types of hangover lunches. The first is greasy, when you need to just soak it up. And it's better to just have that meal versus like halving it and the rest of the day you're still that deep hunger. So I want the eggs, Benny, pizza, all that. But the way we ate this weekend, we want the second. So after that, I just am craving the fresh hangover meal. <laughs> Oh no. Drunk Kelty! We forgot Jim the shirt in Canada. Oh fuck. They're gonna starve. <laughs> Research Kelty, how are we gonna feed Jim? Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm on this, I'm on this. What do we do, what do we do? Oh, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna send Jim Hello Fresh. Now you know me, Drunk Kelty, Research Kelty, Regular Kelty, and Jim the Shark love Hello Fresh. Why do we love Hello Fresh? Because the recipes are delicious. Hello Fresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut. We've been the same old, same old. We need something to spice things up. Also, it saves you time and stress. You can save up to 28% by using Hello Fresh versus grocery store shopping. 
this flexible and fit your lifestyle, easily change your delivery dates or food preferences, and skip a week whenever you want. If you, like Jim the Shark, want to enjoy yummy, delicious meals, go to HelloFresh.com and use code KELTY12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Yes, that is HelloFresh.com, KELTY12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. Enjoy, and thank you, HelloFresh, for feeding my imaginary family once again. Yeah, I normally eat my food out here. <laughs> Once you've had all those calories, you're gonna be incredibly sleepy. So take a nice long nap through the afternoon. That's one of the best perks of being a pro athlete. Now in classic hungover fashion, I forgot a lot of steps. And you're gonna need to get up and get ready to go again. You know, maybe have a cup of tea, get your body ready to go again. Cause in the afternoon, you're gonna swim a mile. Just easy freestyle, swim a mile. We're in a pandemic. Swimming pools are closed. But there's a will, there's a way. So the backup plan. Gonna have a cold shower. And while my hair is still wet, go on a bike ride. I'll be doing cardio soaking wet then, so it's practically swimming. So we're gonna go have a shower right now. Also, I saw a meme. There's only four kinds of showers girls have. There's the one, the body shower. Second is body wash and shampoo. Third, you exfoliate, shampoo, conditioner, hair mask, the full shebang. And the fourth, sit in the shower depressed and cry for 30 minutes. <laughs> Who can guess what shower I had? Hair is wet, and now for the two a day, swimming. One of the most upsetting thing is swimming hungover is probably the most refreshing, best thing. Just laying in a cool pool. <gasps> okay, let's go, bye. <laughs> And uh, unexpected plus is it naturally blow dry my hair. So our hair game is 100, even though mentally I'm at a 1.8 out of five. Serotonin levels were high, but they're kind of plummeted and depleted. But there's one thing I deserve. I mentioned before, young Kelty's mistake was the ice cream before the workout went hungover. But I've learned from my mistakes. And after a long day, Nick didn't say ice cream wasn't allowed. <laughs> I have experienced too many times, 3 a.m., drunk at McDonald's, requesting a McFlurry, and the machine is always broken! Oh, baby. So step one, we're just going vanilla. Ooh, flawless. Ooh, baby. Feel her little swirl so she looks pretty. Give her the tender love and care she deserves. Dilemma, which do I put first? You know what? It is my life. We're doing both. We're gonna do sprinkles, whip, mother effing cream! And the love she deserves. <laughs> I mean, if this isn't a hangover cure, I don't want to know what is. Wow. Now, I'm going to sit on this couch and enjoy the only cure for ice cream. Um, for a hangover. It's a scientific research, Kelty. What's that you said? Ice cream cures hangovers? She, she said it. Who would have thunk it, man? I mean, the chocolate is nice, but... Oh, there we go. Oh God, I got the technique down pat. This was stunning. If I'm ever hung over a sad, I'm still a firm believer that ice cream would just solve all of our problems. If we all just sat around and ate a bowl of ice cream and now the vegans are happy because there's good vegan ice cream, not just crappy. Um, and now they're being just all sit around, have a bowl of ice cream and all the problems of the world will be solved. I tell myself and don't believe it, but if I put it out there, maybe it'll happen. And there was my attempt to train like an Olympian completely hungover. Ha ha! Did I succeed? Um, I did it. Not well. Coach would be upset, but you know what? I committed to myself that I was going to train like one this week, and I did, even though I didn't want to. So sometimes it's just, ah, I'm not going to be motivational. Just eat ice cream next week. I'm going to spend the next week getting healthy, getting back fully, getting my nutrients in me, sleeping properly, doing proper warm-up, execution, and next week I'll have something exciting involving Olympic track. I guess I'm supposed to tell you as a YouTuber or to hit subscribe if you want to see that but no pressure but it's you know it's always appreciated and yeah so stay tuned to that next week let me know any other olympian athletes you guys want me to train like ideally just normally or hungover if you enjoy this i will next time i drink also do it i'm not gonna do this weekly because i don't want to feel it this weekly but maybe the once every six weeks i have a weekend like this hope you guys had a fabulous day if you're feeling hungover salt water aka gatorade 
some green juice, sleep, caffeine, monsters work, but also not. Clamato juice sometimes helps. Um, and I can do a whole video on this. Also, comment down below if you want to see that. I have so many hacks. And most importantly, oh, being hungover is so hard to do. Conclusions. Have a great day. Go pet dog. Love you guys. Bye.